Hi everyone, Nina here. Gladiator is the newest card to be released in Marvel Snap and is definitely an interesting one. Gladiator is a 3 energy, 7 power card with an own reveal ability. Add a card from your opponent's deck to their side of this location. If it has less power, destroy it. Gladiator was originally data mined as an 8 power card, which would make him the 3 drop with the highest base power in the game. But in his current state, he is only matched by Maximus. Gladiator's ability can certainly make him a risky play. There is a lot of RNG involved. And if he pulls out a card that has 7 power or more, you basically play the card for your opponent for free. Of course, there's always a chance that you can pull out your opponent's Silver Surfer early or their Hella before they discard anything, but you can also help them by pulling out an Infinite or a Hulk. So Gladiator is definitely not going to be the most consistent card, but he might be quite fun to play if you like Chaos. One major downside to Gladiator is that the card that he pulls out for your opponent will actually trigger its own reveal ability before Gladiator checks whether he can destroy it or not. Say your Gladiator pulls out a Doctor Doom for your opponent. The Doctor Doom will summon the Doom bots before getting destroyed by Gladiator. So you basically just add a 10 power for your opponent for free and you end up with a negative 3 power on board by playing Gladiator. Any ongoing cards that Gladiator pulls out will also be resolved before he checks whether he can destroy them. So if you pull out a Devil Dino, the Dino's power will be calculated calculated first before Gladiator checks whether he can destroy it instead of destroying it at a base power of 3. Maybe I'm being a bit pessimistic, but I don't think Gladiator is going to be a very good card in its current state. But maybe we can try to minimize the RNG element a little bit by using deck building. So the first deck I want to share with you is a Shuri Nimrod deck with Gladiator. I wanted to minimize the chances of Gladiator not destroying the card he pulls out, so of course I had to try him out with Shuri. And it seems like such a waste not to make use of any card's destroyed power, so I also added Null. If we do manage to Shuri into Gladiator, there will be very few cards that won't get destroyed by him. We also have a backup plan with Nimrod if we don't draw Gladiator or if we don't want to play him because your opponent's playing Logdraw or something. Yeah, he drew much better than me. Could do this. And then a Shuri next turn. Oh, it also goes there. Fine. Um, with Shuri middle, and then Gladiator middle, middle. Oh, I could Nimrod in the middle if I get it. Oh wow, that's a lot of cards. Let's see what we destroy in the middle. Okay. Okay, gone. Oh, thank you. Giving me extra power and giving themselves extra power. Right, the problem is Deadpool is humongous, right? It was like a 12 or something. That's not big enough. Hey, Vivon. Only because they didn't have uh, <laughs> No, if they had no, we would have also won, I think. Depending on what we put the no. If they put no on the right, we would have lost, I think. Didn't I just play against this person? Blue cage. I think we do this. Hope for the best. Let's go. Something small. Maybe like a um, Cerebro. It always gets destroyed, right? Because it's Cerebro. Oh. <laughs> this sucks ass. This card is so bad. Well, 
Actually, my null gets buffed by it. Maybe it's okay, because I can do Nimrod into this. That's still fine. This is fine. We have a backup plan. Okay? No need to panic. Because it's C2, I don't have to worry about uh, Shang-Chi either, which is nice. What's taking so long? You really don't have to think that hard about playing C2. Really, really don't. Okay. Destroy. Get destroyed. And we don't have to be scared of alive either, which is nice. Okay, this is one time with one danger room to work. Please work. Bye. Okay, kill mine too. Kill it, kill it. Kill it. Yes, let's go. Very nice. Okay, now what do we do? I mean, I could also just Zola, right? Like this. We'll go here and here. 24. And then here. Let's do this. Cerebro and Mystique? Where is that Cerebro? There's another card on the right. Why is that Cere Cerebro just hanging there? Alright, do we have enough? I think we do. Not sure. Hey! Oh, that's juicy. Oh, one off on the right though. Sag. Victory. And my death is free. I could have played my death. Gladiator being a three energy card, it would be illegal if we didn't try him in Silver Surfer. We can use him to try and snipe low power cards or to disrupt our opponent's deck, but sometimes he will backfire. I honestly don't know if his ability is worth it. It might be better just to play Maximus. At least you can save Maximus to play on last turn and minimize any benefits your opponent can get by you playing him. We do have Cosmo in this deck, so he can of course be played as a plain old 3-7 behind Cosmo. But then again, I'd rather just play Maximus or another three cost card with a better ability like Polaris or Werewolf by Night. No, actually we could do this as well. That's pretty good. Wind aid my Hopefully Misty will go right as well. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Do this. Where are they gonna go? Hopefully go right too. Oh yes! Let's go! Nice magic. They might have She-Hulk. Maybe I should have Cosmo on the right. They might also have Doom, but I doubt they have Doom. Okay. That's fine. Not ideal. I already have jug. I already used my jug. What small cards they have? They have Cyclops. This kind of sucks ass, right? They're gonna skip, I'm pretty sure. So they can play their She-Hulk. Or oh, they could just play... Um... Alright, let's see. Yeah. She-Hulk is zero. Is it big enough? Alright, let's see. Tiny. I thought they're gonna play She-Hulk. Maybe they didn't draw the She-Hulk. They could have played She-Hulk and Sunspot, and that would have won them the game. Mm. Okay, this is the game. Wind, aid my hand. 
I hear Shadow King on the right. Okay. If we lose initiative, that's even better because then they can't Shadow King us. Okay. So they have initiative. Shadow Kingdom. I could Shadow King on the right. I think I do this actually. This wins. Okay. Oh, this is juicy. Oh, this is juicy! And this is so juicy. Thank you for your cubes, Loki. We should give them an emote. Overall, I don't think Gladiator will have a great effect on the meta. He's being released into series 5 and something tells me he's going to be one of the least popular cards that's been released recently. Please do not spend 6,000 tokens on him and I don't think you should open your spotlight caches for him either. He might be fun to play for the first few weeks just because, you know, he's a shiny new card, but I don't think he'll be played much beyond that, except when we're forced to do weekend missions. However, this week is when we also get Loki and Mirage in Spotlight Caches. If you don't have Loki yet, I would highly recommend opening him because he's still very, very broken in his current state. The energy cheating abilities combined with Kunjet make him one of the best cards in the game, and as much as I hate playing against him, get him if you can but if he does get nerfed again don't blame me i don't have control over that i hope you found this video helpful as always don't forget to leave a like and a comment i would love to hear your thoughts on gladiator maybe there's something i'm not seeing about him if you have any decks in mind let me know and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time bye